welcome back to the channel. So I got this 1070 8 gig gaming X card in front of me and what I would like to do is put this water block on it. This is a whiskey or buy whiskey whatever you want to call them. They make nice stuff so I paid good money for this water block. This is a, an actual Strix branded water block and I want to see if we can get it to fit this. It says it fits it, it says it's the same size, blah 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 blah, whatever, but man look at that thing. Isn't that thing pretty? It's gorgeous. So make sure to stick with me guys. Leave a like. Let's do this. Got thermal paste. Uh, those are plugs. Um, that's like uh, heat sink adhesive stuff. And I'm assuming this is the how to do it. Oh, it felt like it folded out even bigger than that. I don't know. But those are the steps that we're going to follow. Um, the main steps that I'm interested in is the ones on the back here. The ones that tell you how to remove it and put it back in. That's mainly what I'm interested in. So, this ain't my first time doing something like this. So I'm kind of new, I'm not new to it, I'm kind of used to it, so I already know what to expect. Alright, so what I did is I went ahead and removed all the screws, and that right there takes the back plate off. Now what we need to do is get in here and find, well I guess we just removed those four, uh, and see where the screws are at, if there's anything holding the this to the PCB. So that's what I'm going to do now is check it, make sure I got everything, and then we'll go from there. One thing that you do want to do before you try to separate the cooler from the PCB is go ahead and disconnect all of your power. So, you know, I was trying to let the camera focus on it. It's kind of blurry. Um, but right there is your power to your fans and then your LED right there is also for it so you want to go ahead and remove that because you don't want to be halfway between separating and find out that these are still attached alright so we remove the four screws here and with a nice little and with a nice little tug and a shake they separate oh look I forgot one I didn't get I didn't see that one I guess I couldn't see it because it was inside all right so we got the cooler here's their twin frozen cooler uh, that's really what makes up most of your graphics card weight is this and it looks like it's in good shape might need to be clean but it's in good shape but this is what you really want the PCB uh, it looks kind of dirty <laughs> Especially up and around here and stuff, there's dust built up. And I can actually see dust on the plate. Uh, but we'll clean off that thermal solution. We'll put some new stuff on there. Uh, we'll line up the block to see if it fits. And we'll go from there. And we also need to remove this here. So that should just kind of come off like that. And then exposes all the power. These are all your power chokes. Yeah, that's right there is the most important part of the whole thing right here. That's what delivers all the power to it. Um, this just set to the side. Alright, so the block fits it perfectly except for one minor problem. This right here. This is the LED light um, for this top part of the cooler there the part that said where's it at the part right there that says MSI okay that's what that powers um, it does sit on it but I don't it's <laughs> because of that damn thing being there and this not sitting on it I can't tell if it will sit right or not so let's say I try to line up the two compartments here where, okay, so that's inside the block, and the block would sit down like that on it, 
because it's not touching it's not touching anything else at least it doesn't look like it is uh, let me see here Nope, it doesn't fit at all. It's completely wrong. I was just, I was examining it, see? See how many power chokes there are? It's this area here isn't big enough to support all of them. Look, I was looking at it. See, if I put the first one in, I put the first one in, and then go to close it, see it hits, that top piece hits that that metal in the top there uh, the very last one you can actually see it right there on the block see the smudge right there that's where it was hitting well crap alright guys well I guess that's two failed videos today man you you notice how that's sitting over there right I was going to see if I could get it put together and and turn it on for you guys and see if we could get it to work but, um, I don't have enough power to go to the CPU. Even with the new power supply I bought, it's only a, um, it's a 4 and a 6. I need an 8 and a 4 pin on that CPU. I think it's an 8 and a 4, right? 2, 4, 6, yeah, it's an 8 and a 4 pin. I don't have that. So I had to buy an adapter, so I couldn't do that video. So then I was like, okay, well let's do the G, let's do the the water block and the GTX video. Let's do that video. And then look, I get all the way through it, and now I was man, I was afraid of this. I was like, you know, if this thing doesn't fit, that means that I have to put this completely back together, or put it in a shoebox and put all the parts and stuff in a bag and leave it like this until I get the correct water block in. But, I mean, damn, dude, what a mess this is. All right, man, well, if you guys feel sorry for me, leave me a like, comment below. If you guys are new to this channel, man, I appreciate y'all for watching, and y'all be cool.